TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick, K-I-C-K dot com. We are live. So if you want, you can join us. If not, that's cool. That's your business. I ain't got nothing to do with that, apparently. But just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, this right here. Is if you don't watch the live and you want to just see some highlights, if there's any, I'll put them there. Or, you know, stuff that we just didn't deem suitable for the first channel, the main channel. Uh, we do got merch, man. Check it out if you'd like to support and things of that nature. We also got uh, the Patreon shows we cannot watch on the YouTube. And we got the Discord as well, man. This is from Ape Honcho. Um, this is, uh, the death squad is hunting down drug dealers in broad daylight. I don't know. For some reason, it seems like if some, it seems like. The death squad is just like some vigilantes running around the city. Like, you know what I'm saying? And me personally, not saying that I promote any criminality. If I was a criminal, I wouldn't stand for nobody just being vigilantly trying to stop me. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I'm promoting it. I'm just, you know, just saying my little opinion. Derby was underway on the second. As the Manchester Derby was underway on the second of October 2022, Sean Fox, along with his uncle and two children, attended the local Donegal Celtic FC Social Club in West Belfast to enjoy the game. With such a big fixture ahead and Eric Ten Hag's side in form coming off a four-game win streak, the public were ready to see if Manchester United could tackle arguably the best team in the league. Their once noisy neighbours turned powerhouse, Manchester City. What no one was expecting, though, or at least the hundreds of people in attendance other than Sean Fox and his close relatives was what was about to happen at 2.30 p.m. He was with his kids. That's bogus. Okay. Big parking lot. Oh, the they're on coming in mass right stuff. Are currently unidentified. It's believed that they are connected to at least two dissident groups in Ireland. They've got one goal and one goal only, to take Sean Fox out, even if that means in front of hundreds of witnesses, including his own children, in a packed out social club. Okay, wait, okay. Hi, I'm Jenny Lorenzo. And I'm David Gallegos. And we sold their car to Carvana. Oh, so like the death squad is like like a break off of the IRA, you say? Oh, it's nothing to do with the IRA? Who is Sean Fox? Sean Fox is a target then. I did a Rose Kemp reaction to the IRA? To the death squad? Hold on, man. Man, let me watch the video. I think I do remember this slightly. The two men dressed in casual clothing had walked into the social club and fired 20 bullets into Sean Fox directly. That the quick? was over in 21 seconds. No one was hit in the crossfire, although some, including his children, who were sitting next to him, were narrowly missed. When emergency services arrived at the scene, they were greeted by first responders who were off duty at the social club enjoying the day. They had already been at Sean's side, trying to help him survive. Mm, okay. Despite their efforts, he would go on to be pronounced dead at the scene. His injuries, reports say, were catastrophic. Over this past week or so, police have been investigating the incident and have followed a few lines of inquiry, but have more recently spoke out about how they firmly believe that multiple groups of dissident Republicans are responsible for the murder, although the groups in question haven't publicly announced that they're responsible. You see, Sean had been made aware by police that his life was in immediate danger. 
once back in 2019, the other close to when he was shot dead. The threats to his life came as the result of him allegedly being a part of- Man, listen, the police, hey man, the police out in Ireland, if they let you know that your life is in danger, you might want to take that, you might want to, you know what I'm saying? You might want to believe it group of high-ranking drug dealers known as the Morbea Crew, who have linked to the Kinahan cartel. It should be noted, though, that he posted to Facebook in 2021, publicly distancing himself from any drug dealer allegations. I don't write on Facebook, but enough is enough. I don't sell drugs. I'm not a drug dealer. He would go on to add that he had no need to explain where the money for his flash Mercedes with a personalized number plate came from. My family are fed up with all this shit. Please leave us alone. Go away. Get your facts right. Don't spread lies about people. My kids and my family, nor do I need this shit. Low life scum. Whether he was a part of the Marbella crew is to be contested, but according to police, that was the reason he was targeted. And the hit was in a similar fashion to the murders of at least five other people, all connected in some way to the drugs business. The police say the same groups are responsible for all six, and the same specific shooters have been used for all hits. If we rewind the clock back to 2018, the four 4th of December more specifically, we can trace the first connected incident. At around 3.30pm, alleged cocaine distributor Jim Donegan, a close friend of Sean Fox, had been sitting oh, in his okay. pound Porsche, waiting to collect his son at the gate to see him on Glen Road in West Belfast. We just Leading did this. the day in question, reports claim that Jim had refused to increase his protection payments to local dissident gangs who operated in the area. And with that meant one thing, death. They missed him at the school, though, didn't they? At the school is crazy. They go to Porsche, okay. Wait, that ain't the Porsche? Well, that man lurking, spinning, waiting diligently. He's just taking laps, or is this just, just looped? You finna come around again? That's a that's a loop. It's the same timestamp from earlier. Hey, CCTV is is crazy. <coughs> you can't even get out the sight of CCTV. Yeah. You can't even use the bathroom in the alley or nothing in the UK. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, y'all? What's up, Harry? Hey, okay. Wait a minute now. How many? Oh, they go to Porsche. Okay. I think this though. The ambulance. Is it? Who? Oh, that's a kid. Gunman runs from scene. Got okay.
Multiple people would go on to be arrested in connection of the murder of Jim Donegan, but the shooter has never officially been charged by police. Shortly after 10 p.m. on Sunday the 17th of May 2020, 57-year-old ex-provisional IRA member Kieran Wiley was gunned down at his home address in Lenardoon, West Belfast, by two hooded gunmen in front of his two daughters. The job, police say, was quick, over within minutes, but has left his daughters with mental scars that they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives. By the time emergency services arrived at the scene, Kieran was pronounced dead, after he had been shot in the torso, followed by a shot to the head. Four years before his death, Kieran had been sidelined by his organization after police discovered an arms dump on the outskirts of West Belfast. The occupant of the property, Edward Corr, had no links to the group, but was jailed for nine months for possessing the stash. When police traced the cash back to Kieran, he told detectives he was threatened at gunpoint by a man who ordered him to store the weapons, which were to be collected within six weeks. After this information was given, detectives traced the weapons back right. to Kieran's organization. Although there was no solid evidence connecting Kieran to being a police informant at the time, members of his organization began to doubt him. But what sealed his fate was a court case back in early 2020 that led to a senior figure being jailed. 42-year-old Robert O'Neill had been jailed for 12 months after he was secretly recorded by the MI5 interrogating an alleged drug dealer who the organization had abducted and were holding in a safe house. He would go on to plead guilty to collecting information likely to be in use to terrorists and assault, with his ties to his organization made official on record. After the court case concluded in January of 2020, the dissident group is understood to have held an internal inquiry into Kieran and identified him as a police informant. Damn. In the months leading up to his murder, he had been subjected to the public labeling him a tout. He would ferociously deny the claims that were informant. made against him, even going head on with his organization, setting up calls. Yeah, you can't be involved in no criminal activity and be labeled that, man. Even even if you're not, the fact that people do it, it it's, 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 it's damning with them to plead his case. However, they were in vain. Oh, that's what they're doing? He was murdered in cold blood in front of his daughters. Police believe the shooters involved are the same people involved in the murders of both Sean and Jim. At roughly 12.20 p.m. on June 27, 2020, 28-year-old Warren Crossan was captured on CCTV, being chased by two gunmen close by to his mother's home in Rodney Parade, West Belfast. If anybody has a big dog and they want to have... No, I don't have a big dog, sir. His murder is still unsolved. Police say the shooters responsible are the same people who murdered Jim, Kieran, and Sean. Hey. We'll go on, on 20 p.m. on June 27, 2020, 28-year-old Warren Crossan was captured on CCTV, being chased by two gunmen close by to his mother's home in Rodney. Warren Crossan looked like the same composite they made of the shooter of the dude in the Porsche. The little drawing they made hey. looked like him. What's going on, y'all? Appreciate the follow. Last. The gunmen are believed Appreciate to be active boy. from about 8.30 a.m. that same day as they were captured riding bicycles across in the junction of Falls Road and White Rock Road, not far from the scene of the murder. 40 minutes prior to this, it's thought they had left the Turf Lodge estate ready for the hit. The pair had waited hours for Warren to emerge. When he did, they gave chase, and after the trio reached the St. Catherine's Road, Warren was shot multiple times and died at the scene. Sources told reporters that Warren had been killed as retaliation for his part in setting up the hit on Dublin crime boss Robbie Lawler in Belfast two months before his murder. Robbie had been shot dead outside a house on Etna Drive while collecting a drug debt. He had made headlines across the globe in 2020 in relation to the disappearance and murder of 17-year-old Keen Mulready Woods after becoming linked to it. He'd already been connected to multiple murders because his organization were in wars with rivals, but after Keane's body parts were found scattered across Ireland, the news sent shockwaves throughout the nation. Both Robbie and Warren were loosely connected via associates within the criminal underworld, and an incident which dates back to 2014 might have been the catalyst as to why Warren got involved with the hit on Robbie. At around 4.45 p.m. on Friday the 18th of April 2014, Warren's father, Tommy Crossan, leader of the 
Continuity IRA was shot dead near the Peter Pan Light Industrial Complex on Springfield Road in Belfast. No one was ever convicted for his murder, but sources say that the shooters were connected to Robbie. Coming full circle then, and back to the murder of Warren, his murder is still unsolved. Police say the shooters responsible are the same people who murdered Jim. Kira. So how long this has been going on? There's a lot of information to enter. Every time I watch this whole little thing, this whole little back and forth of what's going on between them, it's like a lot of information. And Sean. Just under a year on from the murder of Warren Crossan, and with the hitmen, three confirmed bodies underneath their belt at this point, it was time for them to strike again. At around 8 p.m. on February 2nd, 2021, Daniel McLean was sitting in the driver's seat of a red Audi Q2, which had been parked in the driveway of a property on Cliftonville Road, North Belfast. Out of nowhere, a gunman approached and shot him a number of times. Daniel was pronounced dead at the scene. R.I.P. He ain't even running fast. Gunman about 40. He got 40-year-old strides. Daniel McLean had spent five years in the British Army before switching allegiances and becoming involved with a Republican group. Although in recent years he became detached from this specific organization following accusations of him being an informant. We can't say for oh, it's so crazy out there in, certain in Ireland. What a specific motive was behind the murder, although it should be noted he was killed while out on bail for firearms charges. So maybe this is why he was a number one target. Again, that's all just alleged. As of October 2022, Daniel's murder case remains unsolved, but police say the shooter involved is the same person responsible for the murders of Jim, Kieran, Warren, and Sean. Sources say that 31-year-old Mark Hall was planning on leaving his criminal lifestyle behind him, but after the murder of his close friend, Warren Crossan, he sent a warning out to those who had killed him that they were in his crosshairs. Mark's history is hazy, although he had links to multiple criminal organizations. You can't be planning to leave and leaving messages like that because the messages out there be received. Organizations and was known for extortion and dabbling in drugs. But after the birth of his daughter, he wanted to put his past behind him and live a life away from crime. But on one Thursday night in December, yeah, no, no matter what path Mark wanted to choose, his life would be taken from him. I remember this. This is after he sent them threats, so. Uh They hawked this man down. They waited for him. I believe he's talking about like the UK should should uh separate ties with the Northern Ireland. That's what he's trying to say in the comment. They got all the CCTV for this. They didn't did the homework and that. I salute, man, when channels be keeping up with all of this stuff going on like this, because. It'd be a lot, man. They'd be having a chronological order. They'd be having, they be, they be having suspects. You know what I'm saying? 
Just off Rodney Place, where his good friend Warren had been chased and gunned down in broad daylight, two gunmen approached Mark's mother's address on Rodney Drive on the 18th of December. He'd been enjoying the Christmas holiday when out of nowhere, the two gunmen in question crept up to the living room window at around 4.30pm. They opened fire window. and shot him multiple times, rendering him dead. Family members were also present, including children. However, they were left uninjured. Mark's sister had been making her way back from a local shop when she saw the shooting take place. She attempted to intervene and that's when one of the gunmen turned on her. He pointed his gun to her head before opening fire on her handbag and yeah, then fleeing no. the scene. Initial rumors started to circulate that Mark had been targeted because of his criminal past. But after his threats to Warren's killers were made public, it was clear this was a message sent out to anyone who dared try anything of the sort. It's understood that Mark had been informed by police that he could be the subject of an attack. What are you talking about in the comments? But it isn't clear how he reacted to the news. Given the fact that he stayed within the area where he could be located, he probably just brushed it off. Just like every case we've been over today, Mark's case remained unsolved, but police firmly believe that the shooters are the same as those who were responsible for the murders of Sean, Jim, Kieran, Warren, and Daniel. So where does that leave us today? Well, the police are still hunting for these hitmen who were responsible for six murders as it stands right now. Given the fact that- Just give it up, you're not gonna find them. Police had already started to connect the killings after Mark Hall's murder. You gotta think, man, do the police have some type of allegiance to either side of any of these beefs? Because I feel like with the police and the resources that the police got and the time that they have, available i feel like they should have been been fine they, they could have been found what they wanted to find i don't believe that they searching that hard men clearly don't care because 10 months on they killed sean fox in a packed out social club for hundreds of witnesses to see yeah, that man. means then they'd execute again when the target is brought to them all we know is that the hitmen are a part of either one or two dissident republic groups and although multiple people have been arrested no one has been charged many of the victims associates have voiced concerns that people close to them are giving these hitmen information about certain people's whereabouts and that could be true given the nature of these ex executions but until these hitmen are brought to justice it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped anytime soon hey, was that the end of it i don't think a honcho is leaving out like like that he's giving an outro ain't he nope i lied tlo leave a like comment subscribe turn on your post man let me know man like I said, I feel like all of that Ireland, North Ireland stuff is very difficult to follow for me. I'm gone.